Welcome! Welcome to your favorite Tennessee Titans podcast, Tennessee Titans Weekly, Jacques Hope! Jacques Hope! Welcome, folks. Hey, it's happy. Hey, happy Monday. It is. <laughs> it we feel good to have a win. Absolutely, man. In the city <laughs> of L.A. <laughs> In the city. Hey, L.A. Chargers. Watch. <laughs> hey, great job out of the Tennessee Titans winning right. a thriller at the end, man. Yeah. Hey, do, you have, do you have a cell phone charger? I don't, but they, oh, I need I, one. Yeah. Oh, I, I just fumbled my ball. Oh, I, I fumbled this. I'm Melvin Gordon, yep. the, the, the cell phone. Hey, oh, my man. bad, my hey. bad, my fault. Live, to see it live. Yes, man. sir, yeah. The, the energy from the fans, the 12th man, good job, fans. We was in there live in effect. Yes, sir. So it was off the chain. I mean, it was an amazing feeling. The weather was beautiful. Good football. Man, and to see the fumble in live, just to see it live. Man, dude. Man. Yeah. yeah. It was amazing, dude. I lost my mind when I saw it, dude. Hey. I couldn't believe it. I was like, I can't believe we just won this game. Yes. Man, I, I was, I was like, stressed. I was in the thing like this. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, my, my father-in-law, I talked to him. He's like, man, the Titans lost again. I said, are you serious? Did you not watch the end of the game? <laughs> what, they won? Yep. I said, man, look look at it. He looks, I cannot believe I missed uh -huh. that. I said, yeah, man, you should have watched that whole thing because that's crazy. But but well, my youngest son didn't know that either, man. Oh, was, really? Yeah, yeah. So, you know, and I can understand that at right. the end, you know. Right, right. But uh, the Tennessee Titans, man, it came through this game against the Chargers, who we always lose to historically, yes, right? historically we do. We beat them, what, maybe – one time, yeah, probably like 20, 10 years, 20, 2013, exactly. Justin Hunter yep. had the, a game winning Hail Mary that's right. from Jake Locker. That's so. right, that's right, bro. So I'm very glad that we beat the Chargers, man. We have a lot of things to go over, man. We're yes, very we proud of the Titans, man, for very. stepping up and stepping in, man. You know, defensively, the Titans held their own. Um, a lot of things that we discussed on our preview came to life, right, came right? To life, right? I mean, it, but most of the time, that's the case. It is the case. We do our research. We know these players. We know these teams. Mm -hmm. We know about every NFL team. We man. do. We for do. real. We do. We, I Leave mean, us. We, we can break any team down. Break them the to a team. Hey, we can break them down. That's how much we love football, man. We, exactly. We love football. We love the NFL. It's, I mean, the history of it. I mean, we just what we do. Yeah. And just to see, like I said, statistically how the, the team came together. Yeah, man. In diversity with the quarterback situation and the yeah. drama coming with that. And was well, Tannehill going to be this? And you have half the fan base saying, hey, we, we ride with Mariota, so we want Tannehill to get hurt. And the other half is like, hey, we don't like Mariota. Hey, get people, let's win football games. This is, this is what we want to do. I don't care who we got back there in quarterback. As long as we win a football game, we're good, and it's Absolutely. winning. Yes, um, so, Hulk. Yes, sir. Last week, you gave us three reasons why we can win. Yes, right? sir. Absolutely, sir. Elaborate on that, man. Let, me, let's man. do that. So, first, I, sp I brought up the fact that our offensive line needs to get it together, right? Okay. We've been playing, playing poor all season long, mm -hmm. right? right? I just said, look, just hold... The D-line just long enough so that Tannehill can throw the football. Right. And that's exactly what they did, yeah. right? Against a good – Very good, good defense. defense yeah. Now, Joey Bosa was balling now. He had, Joey Ooh. Bosa had a heck of a game. <laughs> uh, Joey Bosa had two sacks. He had uh, six he tackles did. and yeah. two sacks. Yeah. So he was all over the field in the third quarter. Third quarter. But uh, besides him, I think overall, offensive line, I would give them a B-. minus. Yeah. Compared to the fact for the season, I would give them an F. Yeah. Right. For right. real. Mm -hmm. So I think they did enough to pass the class. And they did just enough because you can you guys see Tannehill throwing lasers out there. Oh, Literally. Pew, 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 pew. So I give the offensive line a lot of credit. They held them just long enough. I don't think they're blocking any different than they do for Mariota. I think right. just Tannehill gets the ball out quicker. That's you know true. what I'm saying? So a kudos to the offensive line, man. Okay. What you think? I, I agree. With the offensive line, I mean, you say you alluded on it. The offensive line had to block in order for for Tannehill to be successful. Yes, sir. And being at the game live, I, something I noticed about Tannehill, Tannehill's in a shotgun. That boy's hands is like this. <laughs> so I'm looking like, okay, I'm not as nervous as when he was back there, but the offensive line responded yes. better to Tannehill versus Mariota because they know when Mariota's back there, he holds on the ball too yeah, long. You know, in NFL, right. college, you can hold on it. Hold on the ball, maybe six seconds. Yep. NFL, man, it's three, three below. That's right. They're, I mean, they just did. I was watching the game earlier with the Jets in the Pats, mm -hmm. and they did a stat line on Tom Brady. He gets the ball out like one point three seconds. Wow. It's ridiculous. How, so how can you sack him, right? You exactly. Right. I mean, exactly. You, you really can't. Can. So it's it's one of those things. It's like okay, as you alluded to, if mm -hmm. the offensive line blocks, and at the game seeing it, I said yep. okay, first quarter they blocking pretty good. Yes, sir. Second quarter they blocking pretty good. Of course, Joey got his his, his sacks, but then when they made some personnel changes, I said the blocking got better. So I, I I I liked it, man. It I, did. I, I liked it. It did, I man. It. it did. 
Well, the second point I brought up as well is to pressure uh, Philip Rivers. Now, I would think of all the three things that I discussed. That's the one area where we struggled, yeah. okay? Um, but Philip Rivers, even this season, is one of the, the quarterbacks that's getting sacked the least. Mm -hmm. Even with a patchwork offensive line and charges. I'm not going to lie. You guys had a lot of injuries on this game. So, oh, I get that. So, if a fans are, we had a lot of injuries, I understand it. But you still got to play the game. So, right. that's another point. But... Uh, Philip Rivers did not get hit much during the game. No. The one sack he did get from was Jeffrey Simmons. Simmons and we'll talk about him later, okay? But uh, but I think, again, um, you spoke to me about this earlier on the fact that we got to make some adjustments oh, yes. from a pass rushing standpoint. Yes. So, so, yeah. so when, when I spoke about that earlier, is uh, DNP is going to have to come up with some schemes and get kind of uh, fancy or try to get creative with getting the linemen in position where they can make plays. You got Jeffrey Simmons now. So that adds another dynamic to your defensive line where we haven't had in a long time since Alvin Haynes won. Yes, sir. So we need those two outside guys to kind of step it up, get the pressure on the outside, and, and we got us something dangerous. Yes, sir. I totally agree. Totally agree, man. Yeah. And, and la my last point that I made in our preview show was we had to watch out for Hunter Henry. Oh, <laughs> And Hunter Henry was lighting us up, okay? He's killing us. Um, you know, uh, Hunter Henry had six catches for 97 yards. Mm -hmm. You can't ask for more than that for a tight end, man. Right. And I've seen enough games of Hunter Henry. His only issue is that he's hurt. Mm -hmm. uh, when he's on the field, and the Chargers, Phillip Rivers historically has thrown the tight ends. Right. He's got Antonio Gates. He'll be in the Hall of Fame. You know what I'm saying? Yes. So you got to look at history here. Right. Uh, you look at Keenan Allen. He's okay. He catches the ball not, not real fast. Uh, Mike Williams, he's okay. I'm you know, not scared of those guys. And they did, you know, very average. Austin Eckler was a problem. Yes. But yes. Hunter Henry was also a problem. And he did do very well. He didn't score a touchdown. But Hunter Henry was a problem, bro. Yes. Yes. And boy, do we miss Jayon Brown, man. Man, we do. And he have a car roll, <laughs> Jason, boy. Every time he turned around, I, I was looking at every other class like, there goes the car roll. <laughs> I said, right. oh, Vaccaro. Yeah. I'm like, Vaccaro, there you go. I'm yeah. like, but like you said, we missed Jan. Now, if I was Dean Pease, I would have made an adjustment there. Byard guards tight ends a little bit better he than Vaccaro. He, he does. Okay, he's he longer does. than Vaccaro. So that's something I would have adjusted and said, hey, we got to switch you to Hunter Henry. Vaccaro, you, you, you guard on the left side. But that just goes to end game adjustment. But we, we know we struggle with tight ends. That's, that's we do, how man. We set up. We and, do. We do. And until we can, we do. once we fix that problem, we already elite, man. Yep. We're going to be a dangerous defense, yeah, man. Yeah, man. But I think the Titans are taking the approach, okay, what's the three things that could kill us? You got receivers, running backs, and the tight end, right? Take the poison. We'll take the poison of you know, the, tight the tight end. Go and get your 80, 90 yards, no touchdowns. We'll take that. And that, you, you know, it's still a gamble. Uh, but, you know, we won the football game. But, again, Austin Eckler was the biggest issue here. Mm -hmm. So, yeah. yard got burnt, man. Whew. He Boy. came in that wheel route. Woo! Exactly. Like, oh, there you go. I mean, Austin Eckler had 118 yards receiving. You know, off seven catches and a touchdown. Now, I spoke upon Melvin Gordon being the problem, right? Mm -hmm. But neither Melvin Gordon nor Austin Eckler was running the ball no. well at all. Like, but you at know, all. You know why. Yeah, exactly. Because our defense. Mm -hmm. We ain't going to have that, right? Mm -hmm. But Austin Eckler was a problem. And I've always said... An issue that we have is covering running backs who can can catch and run. Right. And I've always talked about Melvin Gordon. I just picked the wrong running back. So, right. Right. so Jacques. So overall, man, you we spoke upon who we felt who would do well during this game, man. Okay. Bro, I'm gonna tell you this, man. Who you predicted? I mean, he was on on point, man. Like oh, yeah. unbelievable, bro. Yeah. So, so go ahead. So tell him. So we gonna talk about the, the elephant in the room. You Tannehill. guessed it, man. You said. And it. I said. And I said if the offensive line blocks. Tannehill's going to have a big game. Now, historically, Tannehill's has thrown for 4,000 yards in his career. Absolutely. Okay? Absolutely. He took him to the playoffs, and he's just, he's just very injury prone. Yep. Now, people compare him and Mariota. Mariota and Tannehill. Mariota and Tannehill. Okay, so if we're going to compare them, and you look at them, all right? Body build, baby, yes. Yep. Um, has Mariota ever thrown for 4,000 yards? No, nope. maybe you got to three. Maybe, maybe three. Maybe, maybe three. average two. You put two two seasons together, four thousand. Right, exactly. <laughs> Tanner Hill's just he's injury prone, just like Mariota. But right. once you give him an offensive line that can block, and you give him a a, a, a floor of receivers that he can throw to. Yeah, man. I mean, the ball was 312 for two touchdowns and an interception. And the interception that he threw wasn't even really his fault. It wasn't. It was his hand got hit and, and the ball floated. Yeah. I mean, I was seeing him split defenders. On two, on, on, on two occasions, when the touchdown to Corey Davis and then that next play to Corey Davis, well, he got the rack yards. He threw a pass to Humphreys where Humphreys took off and got rack. He threw a pass to John New, who got 61 yards. John New is one lucky football player. He is, dude. He is. <laughs> He's man. very lucky. Um, A.J. Brown got involved. Yeah. I mean, everybody – Tajay Sharp got involved. Sure did. I mean, everybody was eating. And, it's, and one good, the funny thing about it is it's against the Chargers. This team has plagued us for the longest, man. Yeah. And you come and you're like, okay – the Chargers, you can beat the Chargers. 
And yeah. with a pretty decent defense in yeah, that. Very good defense. Like a lot of people are like, well, that's the Chargers. No, 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 no. Don't count them out. Yeah. You see what I'm saying? So Tannehill went back there, offensive line protected him. He picked him apart and he did what he had to do. Yeah. So, oh, you also. Yes, sir. Predicting you were spot on. Absolutely. With your prediction. Absolutely. So I, I spoke upon Jeffrey Simmons. Mr. Jeffrey. Absolutely. Being a big playmaker during this game, mm -hmm. his first game uh, as an NFL player. Uh, I know it was a gamble by me just saying that he would be, but I honestly felt that that would be the case. Yeah. When you look at their patchwork offense, seeing him you know, at camp, you know, seeing his college film, seeing him as a player. Mm -hmm. Jeffrey Simmons is a wild dude. Like, I mean, he's really, you really can't tame him. Well, people don't understand, when he played at Mississippi State, Mississippi State had the number one defense in the country. Not Alabama, not Clemson, Michigan, Ohio State. It was Mississippi State, and he was the reason. He was, he should have been in the top top five in the draft. He was. He was supposed to. Actually supposed go, to, yeah. but he had the issues yeah, when he was in high school. Right. So Jeffrey Simmons, overall, man, he had a sack mm -hmm. first game, and he only played 23 snaps. Mm -hmm. Had a sack. He had four, uh, four tackles, two of them tackles for losses. Two for losses. That's unbelievable, mm -hmm. right? Now, the Chargers are going to charge her, right? They're mm -hmm. going to do everything they can to lose football games. Mm -hmm. But, man, when you look at the end of the game, when you look at Wesley Woodyard's tackle that he mm -hmm. made, Jeffrey Simmons was the reason why that play happened because he yep. blew up the offensive mm -hmm. tackle. Blew up the offensive Jeffrey tackle. Simmons is going to be a problem. Mm -hmm. And I'm nervous, you know what I'm saying? Because we'll talk about that later. Because I, I want to preserve him as best as I can. But Jeffrey Simmons was, was a beast, man. Was right. a beast. So. Right. so, on this section, man, we're going to go to, uh, <laughs> what are you doing? So, Jacques, there was something in the game that was kind of questionable. A few things, man. What, what do you think, man? Mr. Verbal, let's talk about the head coach. Let's, let's talk about it, Okay. Him, so, we at fourth and one, right? Yeah, we go for it on fourth and one. Now, we've noticed this plagued us all year. Yeah. All right? So, in this case, it's a 50-50 shot, all right? The offense had momentum. It's fourth and one. We were winning on third down uh, 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 conversions. Why not go for it, all right? On the other hand, you give Phillip Rivers a short field to play with. And it was, what, three three minutes to go? Rabel, I would have punted the ball, dog. Punt it. Punt it the ball. Punt it. That way you got to make him. And the defense was playing pretty good. You got to make him get down the field. Now, what he could have been thinking was, well, I want the ball back. Three minutes to go. I want the ball back. Two timeouts he had. He had two timeouts and a two-minute warning. Right. Okay? Make him march down the field, dude. The defense was – I mean, you, they, even if they would have got in field goal range, still. But that was very stupid because you, you you put it down to the last – as, as, as Byron to say, the last blade of grass. Yes, sir. It was your fault. Now, if we would have lost this game – uh, it would have been yes. a whole other thing, man. A whole bunch of different conversations a about the game. A whole different conversation Mike about Vrabel, this game, man. Bro. So Mike Vrabel, man, and, and, and he said this. He, he said this. He said when he when we hired him, I'm going to be as aggressive as I can. I'm an aggressive coach. Okay, this is what we're getting. Yep. What about you? So to add to that, I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to throw another uh, Titan player or coach in this mix. I'm going to add a player to this one. Mm -hmm. Cody Parkey. Bro, oh, man, the donkey. You missed an extra point, dude. Missed the donkey. Man, how many games are we are in because of special teams, man? Like, uh, you know what I'm saying? Because, you know, again, we could, would have been up by four at the end of the game, right? Mm -hmm. We missed an extra point. Like, I, I really hope that Ryan Suckup gets back on the field immediately, right? Like, we need him immediately. Now, you know, the other field goals and extra points that he made, cool. That's, that's good, man. But we've had a lot of issues kicking the football. Like, yeah. it's unbelievable, man. So, you know, I really hope. That we don't are not in that position again, where you know we really need points from our kicker because we have struggled mightily in that regard. It but ha it happened on my side of the field. Wow, dude. <laughs> wow, bro. Wow, wow. I saw it. I lost my mind. I cannot believe he just missed a damn extra. He point. said, "Ding, yeah, exactly, man. Absolutely, dude. <laughs> Mr. Donkey, I'm telling you. <laughs> <laughs> exactly, man. Exactly. So, so yeah, man. So, so. But another thing mm -hmm. I want to add about Mike, about Mike Vrabel, as I've mentioned before, he coaches like a player, man. I know mm -hmm. he was a former player, but man, he's got to make better decisions. A few decisions. I'm a, he even admitted about the Atlanta game that he made a bad decision. He, he made better decisions last year than he is this year. I know he's trying to be aggressive, man, but you got to understand your football team. We don't have a high-powered offense at the moment. You know what I'm saying? Understand what you have on a great – you know, put it in the defensive hand, defensive team's hand and let them do what they need to. And, and we're not doing that. So, right, yeah, right, yeah, right, so. right, 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 right. So, yeah. So, yes. Hulk, let me ask you this. What's next? What's next? Mm hmm Hmm. What's next? Okay. So, 
I was listening to the radio uh, station and they were asking Mike Vrabel about Jeffrey Simmons. Okay. Okay. Now, when you look at our defense, one player that we haven't really talked much about is Rashawn Evans. Rashawn Evans was all over the field. Yeah, Ten tackles. Rashawn Evans is a beast. We see you 54. We do. We see you 54. We do. adore has been playing good. We see you 25. Malcolm Butler's been playing in his contract. Mm -hmm. Logan Ryan, Kevin Byard. Uh, you know, guys are really da – Daquan Jones had the best of his career. He did, you know man. what I'm saying? Yeah, so yeah. guys are playing very good. So this brings up my point. Do we need Jeffrey Simmons right now? Okay, so I'm going to say yes, but in a very short time frame. I think 23 snaps is too much for him because he just tore his ACL in February, okay? Give this man time to heal. He played an unbelievable game by stopping the run, okay? Now, we were ranked 15th in the league in run defense, so I understand why he's on the field. I get that. Right. But he was on the field on his own power. It wasn't really from the doctors. He told Mike Vrabel, I feel good. Look, somebody with five concussions can say that, and, and you're putting yourself in a situation, right? Please temper his playing time, man. I'd like to see maybe 12 to 13 snaps, man. So I'm saying what's next? Hey, he's out there. He's a difference maker. Ease him into the, into the field. Don't just throw him out there playing all these plays, man. Just, you know, saying just take your time with Jeffrey Simmons. That man is going to be a beast. He's going to be a beast. Quick so, question. Yes, sir. Before I let before we... So what if we go on a playoff run? I still temper it, man. Okay. I'm looking at long term. You know, I, like I, I wouldn't I like want nothing it. to happen to him. You know what I mean? He's a wild dude. He plays at 100%. You okay. know, effort. Just be careful. Lyman know that he got a hurt leg. You don't want somebody to undercut him and clip him. You know what I mean? I like Just it. be careful with Jeffrey Simmons, bro. I like it. I like so what's next for you, man? Tannehill. So let's talk about Tannehill. Talk man. about him. Talk about him. So with Tannehill, he had a good game. Yep. And the problem that's plagued this team is inconsistency, okay? Yep. So we know we bad game, good game, bad game, good game, bad game, good game. Let's string before we get too excited. Let's calm down. Let's string some games together. Yes. Sir. Okay. Yes, let's string sir. some games together because we got the Buccaneers. Then we got the Chiefs coming to town. Yep. Okay. So what you want to do is, hey, slow it down. Let's let's play complimentary football like we did this past Sunday. Come in here, beat the Bucks, and we'll talk. We got a whole show about the Bucks. We ain't gonna get in deep with them. Then you got the Chiefs. Then we just get on the run. Let's get on the run. Let's not, not get too excited because <laughs> what's plagued us for years is inconsistency, man. Yeah, man. I don't care what quarterback we got there. It's just yep. inconsistency. That's right, bro. Your team is inconsistent. So this is a new thing for our team to have an offense that put up points like this. A quarterback that's, that's slanging the ball, putting up numbers. When the last time we had a – well, Mariota has had thrown for 300 yards. It's happened. But for it to come quick, because when yes. Tannehill was playing, those 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 passes were coming quick. Pew, those pew. numbers was coming quick. Yep. The receivers was getting the ball. I yep. mean, it was it was like uh, I mean, I was like, wow. Yeah. So then once you get, uh, I mean, even when you get down and you look at the the schedule, it'll get better, people. So if we can string some games along. Yes, sir. And we and Tannehill can play smart football and not get hurt. Yep. Then I'm gonna get excited. Right now I'm excited because we won. Yep. But I want to see consistency. Once we get some consistency going. Yep. Man, 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 you folks ain't trying to see us. Then you have a problem yeah. because of what I said at the beginning of the, of the season. I said, we got a good football team. We really do, man. We just got to get over the hump. We got to get over the hump and get what we get. We do. Totally agree, y'all. I mean, I'm not to just jump the gun, man, but from a talent perspective in the AFC, we got the we got the, one of the best, best teams in the AFC. We, do. we really do. And I'm not saying this as fans. Right. Um, we're being serious. The AFC is not good. Not good. You know, the Patriots are in a terrible division, right? Yeah. AFC East man. is terrible. The AFC North is terrible. terrible right. The AFC East is, is, is I just said it a minute. They're terrible. terrible right? Right? The, right. All the AFC West is what I was trying to say. Terrible. Yes. The AFC South might have the most competitive division we actually, in the AFC. I mean, look at the Colts. Yes. Look the at the Texans. Texans. Look at the Jags. Exactly. Look at us. Right. Like you probably you are right. We from do a competitive have standpoint. standpoint. No one's cold in the division. Right. But it's competitive. It's to, if you want to say team football, yep. each team in the AFC South plays good complimentary football. They do. Now they do. We have the most talented roster. We do in the AFC South. We do but complimentary all four teams. Yep. You could put. I mean, all the, look at the Texans and and the, and the um um the Colts beat the Chiefs. Yeah, exactly. That was their first two losses. Absolutely. And they come back and whoop the the the, the Broncos. Exactly. So yep. I mean, if you look at the dynamic, 
The AFC South is a tough division. It is, it is, man. You got to come to play ball. Uh, even the, the the Colts and Texans just played, and the Colts won. You know yeah, what I mean? So, you know, so again, just, you know, again, I don't want to jump the gun and be, oh, we're going to win it all. I'm mm-hmm. not going to say that. Right. But if we play like we did against the Chargers offensively, our defense will be there. But yeah. offensively, if we can throw the ball and, and get some yards, man, I think we'll do well. So Another stat line that I heard, our defense since, what, 2013, I believe, has allowed 20 points and under. Like, in the first seven games. Wow. I, and, 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 and correct me if I'm wrong. Okay. I, I think it's 2013. I, I have to go back and look at the stats. Okay. But that's how good our defense is. Wow, dude. 20 that's, unbelie- points, that's, that's unbelievable. That's unbelievable. Man. We would be five. We would be what five and one or six and one uh, against teams if we had scored at least 20 points on our end. Six and yeah, six and, six and one. Six and one. Because I'm trying to think of one game that we really got. I think I saw six and one. It yeah. maybe have it maybe would have we'd been be, six and one. We'd be a playoff team. We would be a playoff team. All we need to do is score twenty one points. That Buffalo bet and the Buffalo game hurt. Yep, it did. It did. It, it hurt. did. It did. It, it's actually supposed to be our record, six and one versus Buffalo. Yep. Exactly. Exactly. So. so well folks, that is the show, folks. As always, thank you for tuning in. We are excited about the Titans winning against the Chargers, man. Yes, we are. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. Right. Remember, like. Share, subscribe. We at 354. Let's get to 400. Yes, and sir. Tell your friends. We all Titans for NFL. Hey, if you NFL fan, listen to us. We just we t- we Titans, but we yep. like you, like he alluded to early in the show. We know our stuff, baby. We'll break your team down <laughs> if you want it. We will. We will. Okay, probably better than the podcasts that y'all listen to. Hey, we'll break it we'll down. We'll break them down. Just ask. That's yep. all you got to do in the comments. Exactly. Hey, break my team yep. down. Exactly. We'll let you know. Right. Uh, if you want to contact us as well, you can contact us at Tennessee Titans Weekly at gmail.com as well. We are on uh, Twitter under Titans Weekly 24 7 and on Instagram at Tennessee Titans Weekly, folks. Let's get them. Let's get the subs up in Instagram. Yes, sir. Let's get them up. Let's get them up, man. Let's get them up. Let's get them up. So. To you and yours, thanks again. Uh, Welcome to Tennessee. Let's do it next week. Tighten up, baby. Yes, sir. Boom.